Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at doing a surface integral of a scalar function. And we want to be on the plane z equals 1 plus 2x plus 3y that lies above the rectangle x um, between 0 and 3 and y between 0 and 2. So let's look at this plane. It's actually a plane that starts out below the x-axis below or behind the xz plane and the yz plane. And then it starts to slowly tilt up here. And we only want to be over this part of the xy plane, the part where x is between 0 and 3 and y is between 0 and 2. So we actually only want this little segment of our plane. And we want to evaluate the surface integral over that piece of our plane. So x is between 0 and 3. And y is between 0 and 2. So the first thing we want to do is parameterize our surface. And really here, our plane is already a function of x and y, so let's just let our x and y be our parameters. So that's going to be, the parameterization is just going to be x, y, and then 1 plus 2x plus 3y. So when we take a surface integral of a scalar function, we're going to take the function evaluated at the parameterization times the magnitude of sx cross sy. So the scalar surface integral formula f of xyz is going to be f of s times magnitude sx cross sy in this case, and then dx dy. So that we need this magnitude, this Jacobian or this normal vector magnitude. So sx is going to be 1, 0, 2. SY is going to be 0, 1, 3. Now I've gone ahead and set them up this way so I can go ahead and take their cross product. So this is like I, J, and K. So if we take the cross product, SX cross SY, this is going to be, well, cover up i hat, get 0 times 3 minus 2 times 1, so negative 2. And here, cover up j hat, put a negative, so negative 3 minus 0, so that's just negative 3. And then cover up k hat, I get 1 minus 0, which is 1. And now I want to take the magnitude of that vector, so take the magnitude, and we'll get square root. Um, we all know how to take the magnitude, so it's going to be negative 2 squared, which is 4, plus negative 3 squared, which is 9, plus 1 squared, which is 1. So that's just square root of 14. So our integral is going to become the integral from 0 to 3 for x, integral 0 to 2 for y, and then we have x squared times y times z, and z in terms of our parameterization is 1 plus 2x plus 3y, and then multiply by the Jacobian, square root of 14. So that's sx cross xy magnitude dy dx. So there's our integral to be evaluated. So let's evaluate this integral. All right, so if we distribute that term x squared y into the parentheses that we had and we pulled the square root of 14 out of the integral, this is what we'll have. And now we want to evaluate with respect to y. So integrate first with respect to y. It's going to be square root of 14 times the integral from 0 to 2. Integrating y, we get x squared over 2 times y squared plus x cubed times y squared plus x squared times x uh, times y cubed from 0 to 2 for y. All right, so um, just remember those constants that get uh, multiplied in here. We get 1 half y squared, 1 half y squared cancels with the 2, and then 1 third y cubed cancels with the 3. So that's what happened there. Plug in the bounds for y. 
Um, plug it in 2, we'll get the numbers. Plug it in 0, we'll just get 0, so don't really have to subtract anything. So this is going to be square root of 14 times the integral from 0 to 2. And let's see, plug it in y, we get 2 squared, which is 4. That cancels there, so that's going to be 2x squared. Plug it in 2 for y, we get 4, so plus 4x cubed plus, plugging in 2, we get 8x squared, so 8x squared dx. All right, so keep going. This is square root of 14. Simplify just a little bit. Integral 0 to 3. Uh, this should be 3 for x. Um, let's see. 2x squared plus 8x squared is 10x squared, so it's 10x squared plus 4x cubed dx. So that's square root of 14 times, let's see, 10 thirds x cubed plus x to the 4 from 0 to 3. And we plug in these bounds. This is going to be square root of 14 times, let's see, that'd be 27. So 10 thirds times 27 plus 81 minus 0 minus 0. So that's going to be, let's see, this is going to cancel a little bit here. 27 and a 3 gives me 9. So 90 plus 81. And 90 plus 81 is 171. So this is going to equal 171 square root of 14. And that is our integral, our surface integral over this part of the plane above the rectangle 0, 3 for x, 0, 2 for y.